Hey guys, my name is Andrew Pecoraro from Pex Metal Picks, and I'm here with Jake from In Hearts Wake. Um, say hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll get started. So, over the summer of 2016, you guys played at the Vans Warp Tour. Um, what was that like? Oh, amazing, amazing. It was so hot, very sweaty. <laughs> when we get hot weather, well, uh, hot weather in Australia, but nothing like Florida. So it was a shock to the body, just like being outdoors and in it, but. We were totally taken aback by the crowds and the energy. Yeah, because you guys are an Australian band and now you're back in America again. Is it sort of tough having your headquarters, you know, being based out of Australia and then touring to all these other countries when you play shows? Um, to say it'd be tough, I'd be I sound like a spot rat because we live in such an amazing part of the world. <laughs> so it's it's worth it's worth it. But if you're in America or Europe, obviously going back and forth to Europe America, it's a lot shorter the distance than going to Australia. We had to travel to be here on this tour. It was like 28 hours fl flying with a, with a break in Abu Dhabi. We went around the other way to get to New York, <laughs> other side of the world, rather than coming across the Pacific. So that was- That's gotta be trip. like almost as far as possible yes. away. Yeah, Yeah, it is. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, so a lot of your guys' songs have guest vocalists. I'm kind of curious which one of those you've enjoyed working with the most and which of those songs you think turned out the best. I know you did one with like Winston from yeah. Parkway Drive. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's hard to say which turned out the best because they're all so different, man. It's like comparing a bunch of great meals on a menu. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoy the Winston one purely because that was the first one to come together. Um, it was just a really cool transformation and growth as a musician. And so, yeah, working with Winston's awesome. He's a, he's a great guy and he kills it. So I'd go with that one. Cool. Now, last year you guys put out the Equinox EP. Yeah. So what we did was we put all ten of us in a studio. We brought some material in that we'd both sort of pre-prepared, and then we melded it and massaged it together and worked it into one piece of music. It goes for about twelve minutes, and we put the track marks in there to make three tracks. And uh, yeah, there's little guests. There's basically guest spots, and it sort of overlaps. And it's an EP, Equinox EP. Yeah, I really Northland, liked how yeah. all the songs like bled into each other. Um, like it's really meant to listen all the way through. That's right, totally. <clears throat> and then how did you guys decide to focus on like the refugee issue? Yeah. Like lyrically for How it? did that all? Like obviously both yeah. bands must have been pretty into that idea. Of course. Josh and Art, Josh Smith is the lyricist for Northland. Uh, I guess brings the majority to the table and I do the same with our band. So everyone has their thing that they, br that they bring and that was what I wanted to bring to the table and he wanted to bring his very, I don't call it a controversial topic, but how he was seeing, I guess, how the media was portraying many of these huge, I don't want to say terrorist events, but just, you know, where the walls pull it over the eyes and what we see and what we know and who's behind it all. And I brought forward the refugee crisis, which was happening at the time, which is a huge thing. And still, I mean, it's still happening now. And I've, we've had, got more, more refugees than we ever had, even more than World War Two. So it's it's a big thing. We don't really experience it in Australia and in America, mm -hmm. but if we're in the Middle East or on the front lines of Europe, watching the Syrian you know crisis, you would really feel what's going on. So it's it was brutal, like yeah. researching it and getting into it. It's like it's. it's I'll hard. come back to like a lyric lyrical theme topic in a couple questions sure. from now. But you guys, when you toured with North Lane. Didn't you finish out the show each night, basically getting on stage and playing through the whole EP together? That's right, we did, yeah. yeah. I saw a video of that and it looked so cool. I mean, was that just like a ton of fun to get up there yeah. and jam with each other? Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it's pretty uh, pretty remarkable trying to get 10 guys to fit on a stage and actually play their instruments. Do you think that you'll good. do anything together in the future? Um, that's hard. I don't want to say yet. That's, I'd probably say no, to be honest, because we did it like we did it yeah. and we're all about doing things differently and new things so doing it again would be doing the same thing yeah explore um, some new options but who knows you know I, I don't know the future but we did it and that was that was the challenge and we pulled it off yeah okay so this one's kind of a throwback question a couple of your songs like on Cottonmouth and survival have halo references yeah. like the Killionaire yeah. and the killing frenzy stuff are you guys pretty big fans of halo ben. I've always wondered this <laughs> yeah well ben, ben and I mainly the guitarist Ben and I we used to play a lot of halo favorite and halo Favorite Which one? Halo 3. Yeah. For sure. There you go. But we used to play and we get on like these massive, um, like custom matches with like multiplayer games with like Winston, Pi, <laughs> like, like basically the Parkway guys, plus there'd be 50 other guys being added in. It was just absolute, it, it, was, in, it was insane. Yeah. And oh was man, just, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, it was wild. So 
we used to be really into Halo. I mean, in the last few years, there hasn't been a lot of time for Halo at all, if I'm being completely honest. So we, we had our fun with it and we wanted to bring those fun elements and we did that. So. Yeah. I mean, that's probably a good sign for the band if there's not too much time for Halo these days. Yes, Getting that's true. bigger and bigger. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're growing and there's, when, as, you, as you grow, there's, there's, there's more places to go back and visit and so it becomes, it's quite like the energy is insane you have to bring, but it's good. So going on to like the lyrical topics of your guys' music, you've always sort of been environmentally conscious um, and like global events, sort of like the refugee stuff and things like that. Um, was that something that you really set out to do or is that more of a thing where you just really care about that so much that you can't help but have it be a part of your music? Like where does the inspiration come from? Yeah, where does it come from? Uh, it's a conscious effort, but also it's a natural one because we're, uh, we're from a beautiful little town called Byron Bay. We have it so good, like the nature that we are surrounded by and you come not only over here, but you go to parts of Europe and it's still there, but like we, it's, it's a different world. And you see how people are living and you see how, you know, how much we need and rely on nature to make us feel whole and balanced, seriously. And that became a natural thing, which was happening in the music that we were wanting to get out there. Like, hey, let's bring this balance back. It's a human, it's, it's a right and it's a need that we need as human beings. So it came from that fundamental like source. And from there, I guess all these other issues have been blossoming up for us. And if we're gonna write something, we're not just gonna write anything. It's gotta be something of substance that, that means a lot to us. So that's yeah. why it ends up in our songs. I'm blanking on the name of the song right now, but there's like one where you have the music video where you guys are playing underneath the waterfall. Divine, and it's, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. such a beautiful music video. Thank you. And I feel like uh, Make Them Suffer, which is another Australian band, yep. put out a music video for Ether, I think. And that was focused on like how beautiful the scenery and stuff is too. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead to a different question I had just since we're sort of talking about yep. Australian bands. All of you guys are so good right now like it just seems like every band that comes out of Australia is so killer and so unique. Mm. Do you guys have a really good metal scene or just what is it that sets you uh, guys apart? Cause I feel like other countries are just not, like they're not onto the same thing that you guys are. We've definitely got a good, a good scene, uh, but that doesn't mean everything coming through is quality. It's only what gets filtered through that you hear over here. Okay. Not to say there's a lot of bad bands, but I mean, if you're from Australia, you're on the most isolated, island pretty much in the world if you want to make it to america in terms of getting your music out there into other you're gonna to have to really work hard to do it so it's almost a survival of the fittest scenario yeah. where it really puts bands through the the ropes to, to really go for it and that's why you get such quality because people it's not easy you know and that's what makes the best bands i think that makes sense so going back to your first album divination where every song was sort of based off of a tarot card yeah um where did that idea come from my mother's a tarot reader so the idea came from my house <laughs> <laughs> that's i mean yeah. it was such a cool topic to make every song based off of that and be like the embodiment yeah. of it yeah what was your favorite one of those songs your favorite tarot card trap trap oh no, no no i don't say my favorite card was the okay. fool but the fool is an amazing card they're all incredible cards the fool is cool because the fool is that bringing that childlike energy back into ourselves that we and it's still in us it hasn't gone anywhere we just become disconnected from it a lot of people have but that is you know when you're running along a river stream and there's rocks you don't think i'm gonna go to that rock then that rock, you just do it mm -hmm. and the fall is that energy that just keeps going it takes the risk and runs on the edge of the cliff but knows how to get along yeah so that for me travel art bringing that into that song um and again that's that immersing myself in nature and, and the band so that was a special one yeah that's pretty cool um Okay, so getting pretty close to the end. Over the years, your music has sort of subtly changed. These days, I feel like it's a little bit more melodic, but then mm -hmm. listening to the old stuff, it definitely has that element anyway. Mm. Um, I guess, how would you say that In Heart's Wake has sort of progressed over the years? Uh, I mean, one obvious change is, yeah, the, I don't wanna say melody, but it's the singing. The singing mm -hmm. coming. A little bit more of that. Yeah, and that's because we want to have more light and dark you know and we want to have soft and heavy we want to bring all of that because that to us is you know life doesn't have all one flavor and we don't always feel like playing a breakdown on stage we want to go through all the different moods so that's become as we've grown up that's become more of it's found its way into our writing into our music that's the obvious change and obviously the lyrics i feel um we're filtering out just it's all that quality quality words not that it wasn't before, but as you grow up, you find that 
certain things don't make the cut as they would mm -hmm. yeah um so you guys i feel like you have to be working on some new music maybe or you'll, you'll find out this year man yeah we're working on stuff for sure um hopefully get some news out this year it would be great pretty pumped about that um what should fans expect for that just just continuation big, of greatness big, bigger better more <laughs> epic more scene more breakdowns more everything i hope awesome man i'm looking forward to it um i mean that's the end of the questions do you have anything you want to say to the fans anybody watching out there um i guess new music just yeah you'll see and you'll enjoy it whenever it is that it comes out i'm sure all right guys thanks again to jake from in hearts wake and catch him on tour right now with august burns red and protest the hero and 68 What's and up? yeah and thanks again for your time man. thanks man appreciate it <laughs>